Virgin Galactic. So that's a good question to ask Virgin Galactic because uh, they're doing their rocket testing now on Mojave and they say when it's safe to fly because it is going to carry commercial passengers and that's very important to get everything right and do all the proper engineering. So, um, you know, I, I believe it'll be sometime, you know, within a year or a year and a half from now. So again, it's a rocket science and a lot of other hard disciplines and it's when you get it right and when they're done testing and they feel comfortable. So it's coming, it's coming very soon. It'll be the end of this year or the beginning of uh, 2014, I think. But again, it's when it's safe to fly. That's my best guess. And again, I don't work for Virgin Galactic, so I'm not sure, but that's what I would guess. And we'll be ready for them here, mm -hmm. obviously. So we have the building done and the runway will be all extended in June, so we'll be ready when they're ready. Can you tell me why we cannot to go inside this building? Yeah, it's already leased now, so Virgin Galactic has the keys and that's their building. They're renting it from us. And, um, you know, they really don't want a lot of folks in there. It has, first, first of all, it hasn't been fit out yet. So the interior, you know, they don't have the furnishings in it. Um, and also I think they want to preserve the, that first experience for their astronaut passengers. You know, that first look and surprise for everybody. So they, you know, they don't want it to be plastered all over everywhere. So, uh, so we certainly honor their, um, their uh, view on that. You said there will 2, be 2,000 people. 200,000. 200,000 people. A year. We're expecting as visitors, visitors, visitors here, you know, tourists, and we're going to have our visitor center completed in about a year and a half, um, and it's going to have lots of activities in it for families and kids to enjoy. Kids may even be able to build a rocket while they're here, a small rocket, and launch it during their visit with us. So, um, and there'll be an observation deck so you can sit out and observe if there's some launches going on at the time you're visiting. And we'll have a restaurant, we'll have a gift shop. You know, it'll be. Um, you know, I think it'll be a fun experience, even if you're not flying in space, that I think you'll still enjoy it. Have you a proposition by XCOR to oh. have a landing here? We are talking to a number of companies um, that have shown some interest in us, so um, we'll still pursue them. I believe XCOR has made some decisions to fly in a couple of other locations right now, um, but who knows in the future. You know, again, I think point-to-point um, -point space travel uh, will come about and there'll be a need for lots of spaceports and lots of landing locations. So um, so even if we don't get them on the first round, hopefully they'll come mm -hmm. in and uh, this will be a, a destination point at some you know time in the future. Do you prefer space private or national space? Uh, private space? You mean commercial space or military or government space? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know there's a preference. Um, you know, if it wasn't for NASA and the military in developing all the space technology, we wouldn't be here today on the commercial side to be able to utilize all that. And I think uh, by the same token, um, them now taking on some of the missions, for example, we've seen SpaceX going to the shuttle, um, that takes some of the burden off of NASA so they can go and do more great technology work. So it's a, it's a very... Mm -hmm. um, I think um, homogeneous uh, relationship, you know, that they and uh, a synergistic relationship, so that it feeds each other. You know, we can relieve the military and NASA from some functions, and they can go on and do more technology work that can be utilized. So I think it's, it's My, great to have both. Do you want to fly with Virgin Galactic? Sure, wouldn't everybody? <laughs> <laughs> like me? <laughs> yes, like you. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.